Hello everyone, my name is Ali, uh, I'm Ben, and we are medical students from Cambridge University. We're in our fifth year and we're on our medical elective in Cambodia, which is really, really fun. We've just come up with a really good idea for an app that we're going to make and we're going to share the details of it with you. Okay, so coming to Cambodia, everybody's been saying that they wish they'd written down all the surgeries that they've done. So while I've been here, being the very keen medical student that I am, uh, I've tried to every day fill in this Excel spreadsheet uh, with lots and lots of columns just so I can get a record of all the surgeries that we've been able to do while I've been here. Um, and apparently this is something that students do in the UK as well. Common advice from surgical societies is that if, if you're interested in surgery as a specialty and you see operations or you assist in operations, you should probably make a list of them somewhere just as a record so if by the end of your medical school career you've done, let's say, I don't know, 200 assists, you don't want those to go to waste completely, you can just kind of print out a list, put it in your portfolio when you're applying for a job, stuff like that. Yeah, so it's a nice thing just to bring along with you. Um, it's quick and easy for them to look at and be like, bang, look at all the plastic surgeries I've done, for example. The problem with the current system is that if you want to do this, A, you have to know what to do. Um, like I only got the advice about halfway through fifth year that you should be keeping one of these surgical logbooks. The other problem is that even if you know what to do, it's a bit of a pain in the bum to fill out this spreadsheet when you get home. Uh, yeah, sure, you can launch the Google Sheets app on your phone and that's what a few of us have done, but it's just, it's not an easy input system. So a common problem that I find I have as well when setting up this spreadsheet, what do I need to include? Do I need to include the patient name? Probably not. Identifiers, where it was. How do I describe what surgery I've been part of? So it would be very nice if there was a spreadsheet that already had all these columns filled in so that it's nice and easy. You just input the data, all the details that you need to, and bang, you're away quick and easy. So we're going to make an app that does exactly that. It's going to be a nice simple app that runs on iOS and Android, uh, which connects to a backend database where you pretty much just store the details of all the operations that you've assisted in as a medical student. Let's say you've just done an operation. Uh, you go on the app, just enter the patient random identifier number, which is it's fine because there's no actual patient data associated with it and you just type in the name of your supervisor or the person who watched you do the surgery and it sends it to the database it automatically records the date the time the hospital that you're at and then you have a logbook we'd like to document the process of building this app to share with you guys uh, via video we know that a lot of students a lot of medical students are particularly interested in med tech and in the idea of making apps but it seems like a lot of people don't really know where to start and haven't really done it before and from speaking to people it seems a lot of people want to learn how to code, but don't really know how to take something from idea to product. So we'd like to share all the details with you via video, the ins and outs, and sort of the reasons why we're doing what we're doing and, and, and how it works. And what Ali's just explained is pretty much my situation. So since I've been here, I've learned a lot already in terms of just building a website, for example, and I'd quite like to get to know a bit about how starting up a new project works as well. Um, so this is a really good opportunity for me, uh, and I'd love to see how it goes as well. Yeah, and in terms of background experience, I've coded a few websites before, but I've never actually made an app for iOS or Android. So that'll be an interesting learning point for me. And we're hoping that by kind of sharing the process with you guys, giving you a look at behind the scenes about how we make an app, we're hoping that that'll be useful. And while we're building it, if it's something that it looks like, you know, you at home could easily do with, it's something that you feel like you'd be missing out as well, then, then perfect, you could be one of our first users. We haven't actually worked out a name for this yet. We will do another video on that. But when we do, there will be a website link somewhere on screen, and like here, here and everywhere. Once we found a name, please go on that website, put in your email address, and we'll send you an email to let you know when the thing is done so you can start adding to your surgical logbook. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, we'd love it if you stayed with us and we kept you in the loop about this project of ours. Uh, and maybe it will become something very useful, hopefully. Yeah, or maybe not, but either way, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll learn something, we'll make some videos, it'll be fun. So yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.